In Has Been Hotel Episode 2, Vaggy suggests that sinners might be desperate enough to come to the hotel due to the extermination. They're interrupted by Serpentius, who's arrived to battle Alistair in hopes that the Almighty V's will acknowledge him as their equal once he's slayed the radio demon. The V's include Velvet, Valentino, and Vox, who announces that his company Voxtech is producing angelic security to protect hell citizens from extermination. In reality, it's something he just then came up with. Vox tries to settle down Valentino, who's upset that Angel Dust left him to go to Hasbin Hotel. He then informs Vox that's also where his rival Alistair the Radio Demon has shown up after seven years gone, the same amount of time Lilith has been gone. Now Vox is the one who's upset. A musical number enlightens us to the fact that Vox once invited Alistair to join the V's, but he refused. Now Alistair is back and wants to take Vox down. Vox worries that a partnership with the Princess of Hell will help the Radio Demon to that end. So, he decides to send a spy into the hotel. Newly defeated by Alistair, Serpentius arrives at Hasbin Hotel to be a new recruit, claiming he wants to be better. He's secretly a spy for the V's, but Charlie feels for him and takes him in. She calls him their first real guest, despite Angel's presence there. It's just nice to have someone interested for once, Charlie says to differentiate the two. Serpentius goes through a program and excels, making Charlie proud. Observing from the sidelines, Angel feels unappreciated. He later listens to voicemails from Valentino, which swing from loving platitudes to harsh insults. His inner voice, sounding like Valentino, sounds in his mind. You actually think you can change? Addict trash like you doesn't change. While grabbing a drink from the hotel bar, Angel catches Pinches planting a camera and accuses him of working for the V's. When the others come in, Sir Pinches is caught out as a traitor. He calls Vox to get evaluated, but Vox leaves him on his own, a possible trick to keep his spy in the game, but who knows? Of course, Charlie won't kill him. She instead encourages him to apologize and stay in the program. Once everyone goes to bed, a grinning Alistair picks up Pinch's discarded communications watch. He speaks to Vox. You'll have to try harder than that next time, he tells his rival, laughing. The episode review. Rather out of the blue, we're given a conflict to chew on between the video and radio demons. It seems like this could get interesting considering the scope of their powers, but for now presents like a simple, boring old guard slash new guard clash. The hotel drama thickens with the addition of Sir Pinches to the recruits. I see an interesting storyline forming where Charlie will have to reckon with the perils of heaven. Honestly, Adam should have given heaven's true nature away last episode. Right now, she groups very different personal morals together, like apologizing when you've done something wrong with abstaining from sex before marriage. Her morals are very black and white, something that clearly rubs Angel the wrong way as someone who seems to want to be a good person but can't seem to vibe with Charlie's way of doing things. I think this will be a fascinating arc to explore with the two characters as long as the series can find a more fluid approach to its story and dialogue.